Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is a follow-up video to my previous one where I promised that I will share my Stasis Hunter Renur Grasps build. I spoke highly about the new Stasis SMG and its ability to regen mad grenade energy per kill with the help of Headstone and Demolitionist together as a per combination, which is very rare. In this video, I will be sharing my Renur Grasps build. I was averaging between 2 and 3 dust kills per minute in PvP, which is absolutely nuts, and 4 minimum in PvP per minute because it's very easily achievable i will talk about the mechanics i will explain everything i will share my pvp and pve builds and i will also before i do that i will talk about the evolution of this build before we talk about the evolution of this build we have to talk about the basics for those people who don't know uh, anything about this build so basically if we take this exotic off you need to have dusk field grenades equipped here which is the main focus of this video is to throw the best performing dusk field grenades and as many as possible per minute you also need touch of winter here for a larger bigger dusk field grenades with a stasis crystal inside of the dusk field so this is what a normal dusk field with touch of winter look like you need the crystal inside of the dusk field for two reasons reason number one a damage resist from this fragment right here called whisper of chain while you are near a frozen target or a friendly stasis crystal you take reduced damage from targets this is a 40 percent damage resist in pve which which is nuts and a 5% damage resist in PvP this season. It was different back in the days. The second reason why you need a stasis crystal inside of your dusk field is because with the other fragment right here, Whisper of Shards, shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate. Shattering additional crystals will give you even longer duration of this benefit. The benefit we are talking about here, if you shatter the stasis crystal just like this, you get 500% faster grenade recharge rate, but only in PvE. In PvP, it's 150% increase for six seconds per crystal going all the way up to 10 seconds which is the cap whisper of chains for the damage resist is not as important as whisper of shards whisper of shards will allow you to throw as many dust fields as possible while whisper of chains is only here for the dr and keep in mind keep in mind we are going to break the crystals anyway for the buff from whispers of shards and when you break the crystal to get the nade back you lose the dr from whisper of chains so you need to know exactly when to hide behind the crystal and use it as cover for the damage resist and for cover and you need to know when to break it to get your nade back here when having the renewal grasps exotic equipped instantly your dust field grenade will be larger and will provide additional damage resist so you already have 40 percent by standing near the crystal here no grasp will provide additional 20 percent just by being inside of the aura so right here i'm getting resist times one from the crystal because i'm near it and then if i go inside the aura it will go to resist times three so if i remove whisper of chains for the damage resist if i put like anything here for example this one the renewal grasps aura will still provide 20 percent damage resist so that is two sources of damage resist from the exotic and from whisper of chains so this is the basics also renewal grasps will debuff targets trapped inside of the dusk field so enemies inside of the dusk field will get slowed until they get frozen they shatter they get slowed again and they froze they get shattered again they are dealing less damage they deal 50 percent less damage in pve and they deal 20 percent less damage in pvp right now this season so just by trapping someone in pve by the dusk field and being inside of it not only you have a mad 40 percent damage resist from the crystal additional 20 percent damage resist from the exotic and the enemy will deal 50 percent less damage to you so this is if you trap an ad in a dusk field and you get inside with him is basically yours now i think you guys know enough for me to tell the backstory of this exotic since its introduction in season 16. so back in season 16 there was one single week in trials of osiris it was in exotis blue it was absolutely cringe everyone was using this exotic to trap other people inside of it they debuff other players and they go inside of the dusk field with damage resist and they basically beat them after that single week in exotis blue when everyone was using it bungie nerfed the renewal grasps instantly they made that when having dusk fields equipped and renewal grasps equipped 
the Duskfield Grenades will have double cooldown. They nerfed the damage penalty to people trapped inside of the Duskfield from 50% to 20% in PvP. This was the first change. It made Renewal Grasps not as meta and as powerful as Omnioculus back in the days. Afterwards, Bungie nerfed Omnioculus because it was cringe too. They nerfed its damage resist and they also made changes to the radar when you are in In season 16 up to season 18, there was three nerfs. Duskfield cooldown nerf, damage penalty to targets hit by Duskfield nerf from 50 to 20, damage resist taken down from plus 20 to like 5. So three nerfs. Afterwards, there was a buff. So it's like an overall buff to stasis. There was like three major buffs better slow you are slower when you are slowed the slow lasts for longer and also you get frozen quicker after was the fourth change which is the most recent bungie reverted the nerf to the dusk field grenade cooldown it's in a more balanced state right now in pvp but in pve now it's busted they never touched the damage resist values in pve the only thing that touched pve from all these pvp changes is the dusk field cooldown so after the cooldown went back to normal and the slow is now improved, Renewal Grasps is even better in PvE than its former Season 16 self. So it's like an overall buff. It's way better right now in PvE. Worse in PvP because it's no longer crazy and debuffing people for crazy amount. Like 50% debuff is just crazy. And you guys need to know this backstory because next season will be stasis themed as Bungie announced in their recent TWAP. That the next season will have stasis artifact perks and probably stasis surges so by mastering this build right now in this season you are preparing yourself for the next one let's talk about the actual build here i will try to simplify this the best i can when using renewal grasps in both pvp or pve you need the maximum amount of dusk fields possible per minute for pvp you will need a lot of dusk fields so you can have one ready for every encounter with an enemy guardian so you can slow them down debuff them they do less damage to you you can have easy cleanup afterwards if you tag an enemy with the dusk field it's basically ggs in pvp it's a very easy cleanup so the more dusk fields you have the higher chances of having one ready for each encounter every time you need it the higher chance you have of cheesing and having a funnier time in pvp in pve however the more dusk fields you have the more constant damage resist you can have from whisper of chains and renewal grasps so you just throw the dusk field and stay near the crystal use it for cover the crystal gives you 40 percent dr the dusk field will give you 20 percent dr and they stack you are basically unkillable if you are in a dusk field in pve enemies hit by your dusk field will deal 50 percent less damage to you in pve so you are basically unkillable if you are in the dusk field with your enemy so to simplify what's coming next even further there is five ways to regenerate the maximum amount of dusk fields first way is to have 100 discipline because the base cooldown of the dusk field is 1 minute and 30 seconds with 10 discipline it's 45 seconds which is much better second way to have better cooldown is to shatter the crystal inside of the dusk field with whisper of shard give you 500 percent faster grenade recharge rate for six seconds per crystal shattering in pve and 150 percent per crystal in pvp for six seconds as well so this is the second best way to recharge our dusk field as fast as possible the third way to regenerate our dusk field as fast as possible is with the help of bomber mod the odd gin will reduce your grenade cooldown by 10 percent so the higher mobility you have for faster dodge cooldown the better and we are going to speak about this again afterwards so this is the mean number three to get grenade back faster the fourth way to get your grenade back faster is with the orbs of power to regenerate orbs of power this build has two ways way number one with the reaper here on the cloak you dodge and then the next weapon final blow will give you an orb of power way number two to regenerate orbs of power is with the siphon mods here on the headpiece for example if i'm using a stasis siphon if i get multi kills with a stasis weapon such as wicked implement or Undying tempest multi kills will generate orbs of power i pick the orbs of power i get 10 percent per orb of power with innervation the fifth way to regenerate grenade energy is with the armor charge system 
with the grenade kickstart mod this is complicated for you players but it's very easy when you throw your grenade you get a portion of it back depending on the amount of armor charges you had before throwing it so here to get armor charges we have two ways of getting armor charges with this build way number one is by picking orbs of power picking an orbs of power will give you by default armor charges and also 10% grenade energy with innervation instantly at the same time because we are rocking this mod second way to get armor charges with this setup is with the help of the grim harvest aspect in pve defeating slowed or frozen combatants will give you stasis shards so those stasis shards will then track to our position with whisper of conduct this is a fragment that will make the shards track to our position so we don't have to worry about it at all so when we pick the shards there is a chance that we get an armor charge with this model right here elemental charges we make shards by defeating slowed or frozen targets with the help of this aspect the shards will track to our position with the fragment and then when we pick them not only we get melee energy from the shards instantly but we have a chance of getting an armor charge with elemental charge the armor charges we are getting from picking the orbs of power and also the stasis shards they will give you grenade energy as soon as you throw your grenade instantly so this is the fifth way to get grenade energy with this setup so there's five ways again but fast discipline whisper of shards bomber mods on the cloak while dodging four orbs of power five armor charges with grenade kickstart here additionally i am using bolstering detonation which is mandatory if you ask me grants class ability energy when caused damage with a grenade so you throw a grenade at dusk field if it does damage you have reduced dodge cooldown so your grenade will feed your dodge and then dodge will feed your grenade with bombers this is also mandatory here for the third mod you can have whatever you want or even impact induction causing damage with a melee will reduce your grenade because we get our melee fast by picking the shards anyway because stasis shards give a small amount of melee energy so you have your melee coming back faster by picking stasis shards but it's not very mandatory or needed because even without it we can have like 100 percent uptime of the dusk field if you respect the gameplay loop which i'm going to showcase so i rather have a reloader mod to make using an smg or a scout less painful so moving to the subclass here we spoke about whisper of chains and damage resist we spoke about whisper of shards for the grenade ability regeneration rate we spoke about whisper of conduct so you can get uh, shards picked from without paying attention for the other two fragments that i never spoke about here we have whisper of rending primary ammo weapon deal increased damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets this is good so whenever you freeze a target with the dust field you deal increased damage to it for a split second but it's also good so you can one shot your crystals and not having to waste time breaking your own crystal to trigger whisper of shards so this two kind of works together this is even more important in pvp because in pvp you have less time to waste especially when there is a lot of enemies around you for the final fragment that i didn't mention slow that you apply and your dust field will last for longer this is also mandatory and very helpful and it will complete your setup you need 100 resilience so you can have maximum damage resist from your own resilience you get additional damage resist from renewal and additional damage resist from whisper of chains you can make additional crystals if you have a headstone on your weapons on your sister's weapon on undying tempest you can have both headstone and demolitionist so this is crazy good for ability region as i am going to showcase in a second headstone is a must if you are going to crutch on dusk fields so here the gameplay loop is very easy throw a grenade shatter dodge and then kill enemies basically uh try to make crystals pick the arms of power we already have one break that uh kill these try to get a, a crystal yeah break it and we can throw another one advance shatter this kill that so this is the pve build i will put a demo link in the pinned comment with this specific setup you can just click and copy having demolitionist headstone weapons is very helpful the stasis subclass is capable of stunning all champions so when you slow 
slow will stun overloads the shatter will stun champions and basically you can have a dusk field on a barrier champion it will freeze him every time he's going to pull up his shields so basically the dusk fields can notify all three champions but still having champion mods will ease killing champions in the dusk fields still so uh moving to the pvp setup so the difference between my PvE setup and my PvP setup is that here I have higher recovery, lower resilience, and higher mobility so I can get my dodge faster for Bombers. Because Bombers is way more useful in PvP. Also in PvP you better switch this to another Bomber and you better switch this to another Innervation. The way we are going to make Orso Tower in PvP is by dodging and then getting kills afterwards with Reaper. Picking the Orb of Power will give you more grenade energy because we have double innervation right here on the chest instead of resistant mods we have and flinch mods bunch of dexterity and reload mods for pvp on the headpiece there is no dynamo shenanigans or cypher mods we go for targeted mods for better target acquisition i'm using the same smg in pvp and also in pve i have 912 crucible defeats on it which is absolutely crazy switch mine respect to targeting adjuster or even quick access sling for more handling because handling here is ass the second weapon you can either have like a shoddy or a sniper it's all up to you i'm in love with mercurial overreach with a snapshot opening shot i posted a video on my second channel using this sniper going absolutely nuts you can check it out if you guys want for the subclass in pvp again shutter dive instead of grim harvest and you just lose whisper of chain which is not very helpful in pvp anyway thank you guys so much for watching that was it basically for my video i will have a very hard time editing this as i am just recording right now uh, make sure to to like and subscribe to help me out with the algorithm i will very appreciate it if you do if you want to support the channel even more you can become a member yeah giveaway on my discord server once we hit 1000 subs on my second channel so you guys can help me earn the money by getting me in youtube partnerships after i get 1000 subs and i will give you some of it back in silver packs for five winners that you'll have a chance to win if you enter the giveaway so see you on my next video good luck farming and peace